guys, it's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. I have gotten, I don't know how many messages, comments, uh, DMs, even emails on this setup right here. I posted a video of it over on the Andrew Police channel, and of course I used it in many videos already. I posted it on social media as well, and you guys seem to really like it, and a lot of you, and I mean a lot of you, really want that complete step-by-step tutorial. So here is that video. I went ahead and dropped links to pretty much everything that I mentioned in this video, even that Android police video that I was just talking about. So that's there as well. Links to all of the applications and all the stuff that you need. Even the link to this phone stand is down there because I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that as well. But yeah, everything is down there. So make sure you check it out. There's also a link to channel sponsored dbrand. They make some really awesome skins for your tech devices. I've got them on tons of my devices. They've got tons of different styles, textures, different looks, and they've actually got this really cool collab. It's a limited collab going on right now you're gonna to want to check that out before time is up very first link in the description all right so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial okay so for starters we're gonna be talking about the launcher now I'm using launcher v2 this one is not in the Play Store and I've mentioned that before and some people were saying oh this one is actually in the Play Store well this one is a completely different version of that launcher the one that's in the Play Store is called launcher 2 and it was updated last updated on December I think it was December 4 of 2019 so uh, that one hasn't been touched in a while this one is not in the play store it's launch Air v2 and it was last updated in june of 2020 so uh, just make sure you get the correct version again link is in the description so don't worry all right so we're gonna go ahead and start off with desktop here so the desktop we have the icon grid right here so let's go ahead and do that we're talking about an icon grid size of 12 but i don't know why i changed my axe I, I have no idea what just happened there we're gonna do 12 by 6 do that i believe okay that's 13 not 12 and then we're gonna do i think we're gonna do disable the icons uh, not the icons the icon labels sorry it's been a while since I've done this so I've already hidden the icon label so you're gonna want to press that one right there the icon size that I'm using is 95% let's see I had it at 90 previously so we can set that to 95 okay I can't pinpoint it to save my life there we go we can also hide the status bar I believe I've already done that let me see uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah hide the status bar and then of course you can change whatever else you would like but this is all that I have for right now all right so next we're gonna be checking out our icon pack this is the one that I'm using right now it's called the fluent icon pack if I'm not mistaken it's like one or two dollars uh, it's totally worth it it's a really good icon pack it's my current go-to they even featured me right here i really appreciate that of course you can use whatever icon pack you want but this is just the one that i'm using right now so yeah that's the icon pack icon pack <laughs> go ahead and check it out if you haven't already it's a really good one all right so now we're taking a look at some of the widgets that i'm using um, this one i'm using right here as you can see on the phone right there that one came from here flow for kwgt of course we're going to get into how to set that up don't worry now of course you're going to need the actual kwgt application to get this to work because this is just the skin pack we're going to need the actual kwgt application itself so you're going to need to grab the kwgt application and then you're going to need the pro key as well so go ahead and grab both of these right here in fact i actually have to update this give me one second so yes you will need kwgt to use the custom packs like flow for kwgt next up go ahead and grab the month calendar widget i've been using this one for years if you guys have been watching the channel for a while you know i've been using this for like five six maybe even seven years i'm going to go ahead and go with six but i've been using this for a long time and as you can see right here that's what I'm using right there so go ahead and grab this it is free there are some in-app purchases but uh, for the most part it is free so you can go ahead and use whatever free skins that they have for the calendar widget all right so this is rain paper this is one of those optional things you don't absolutely have to get this if you don't want it but this is what I use to get those rain effects right there as you can see on the note 20 it does take a little bit away from the battery so keep that in mind if you want those rain effects this is what you're gonna have to get it's called rain paper okay so as for the wallpaper that you guys have been seeing on the setup like this one right here um, that one is actually from an iOS application. It's called Vellum. Again, link for that wallpaper, including this one right here, which is also from Vellum, are in the description right now. So if you check, you might just find them. And I will apply them towards the end of this tutorial because I still have to get them on this phone. So for now, I'll just keep this one. Link for this one is also there as well. So before you ask, check the description, please. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our icons. So in order to change the icon pack in Launcher V2, go ahead and long press on the home screen, hit home settings, go to theme, go to icon packs, 
And then whatever icon pack that you want, go ahead and use this little tab right here and drag it all the way up to the top. And I'll drag this one out of here because what it will do is actually use two icon packs at once, uh, which is pretty neat. But for this one, we're just going to stick with Fluent. All right, so now you can start dragging your icons, whatever icons you want. You can start dragging them to the home screen, uh, your most used applications. That's usually what I do. In fact, I think I had Twitter over here. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, Twitter over there. I even put the dialer, I believe. I put the dialer. Hello. I put the dialer over here. And then I put the Google Play Store right there. So one thing that I almost forgot to mention was the dock and how I set that up on the Note 20 setup. In fact, I have this over here for reference so I don't forget. Um, but go back into the settings, go to dock, and then let's see, of course, dock is enabled. I have my corner radius set to eight. This doesn't really matter a whole lot, but I do have it set to eight. Again, I'm just using this for reference. So I'm doing whatever I did over there. The dock size is set to 50, so or 150 rather, not 50, 150. Show search bar, turn that off, and then show second row, I turn that on. So make sure you have that set up for the dock. Also show arrow and show page indicator, I believe are on by default. Uh, so I have those disabled as well. Oh, and on the original setup, the icons are actually aligned lower so I went ahead and I moved them down from here down to there something else a lot of people have been asking me about is how to get the folder masking like on the setup here how do I do the swipe up function from an icon to get to a folder I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that it's actually really simple so I'm gonna go ahead and add another Google application here create a folder so go ahead and create a folder tap on it hit the three dot menu right there you can name the folder whatever you like of course I usually just use a G for my Google applications and then you're gonna to want to tap this right here this is called cover mode so that when you tap on it it'll open up the first application when you swipe up it'll show the actual folder itself of course if this is disabled you can go here and set whatever you want uh, for when you do a swipe up action which is pretty neat so uh, but for this we're gonna do that and then as you can see right there it went right back to the first application that's in the folder so if I swipe up it'll open up the folder I can rearrange these to make the first application the maps icon if I wanted to uh, so that's just how you do that. that's pretty simple but I know a lot of people it's kind of a hidden uh, feature and I know some people were having some trouble with that so I hope that was able to help you out you swipe up to get there I'll move this back here and you tap on it to open up the first application but there you go all right so now let's finally get to adding the widgets so long press on the home screen go to widgets right here and then you can scroll down find kwgt you can add whatever size you want uh, i actually don't remember so we're going to kind of be relearning this as we go in fact i can go ahead and just see how large it is right there okay so you can see right there that's how i have that set up that's the the grid size that i'm using so let's try to make something as similar as possible. We'll go with that for starters. Now go ahead and tap on the actual widget itself. Uh, you may or may not get a screen like this, but what you're gonna wanna do, if you're on this screen, go to load preset, and it'll show you all of the installed KWGT packs that you have. Of course, we're using Flow for this one. And then we're gonna scroll until we get to Flow 20, which is right there. That's the widget that we are using right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and resize it. So how do we do this? It's pretty simple. Go ahead and hit layer. And you can see right there we have the scale you have plus and minus so you can increase or decrease the scale and you also have these kind of like fast forward buttons so you can quickly do it uh, this is very incremental right there as you can see it goes up by one and then this one goes up by quite a bit uh, so it's just a nice and easy way to do that on my setup it's 133.1 so for the sake of this i'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing right there and now what you can do we're going to go ahead and change it so that whenever you tap on time, it'll open up the clock. And whenever you tap on the calendar, it'll open up the calendar. So go ahead and go under the items tab, go here to date and time. So I just realized I could have been using the S Pen this entire time. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. Hope you guys don't mind. It's just a little easier to point things out to you guys, especially from this angle that I'm at. Anyway, so you can see the whole widget is highlighted. And um, these are all of the elements right here that are making up this entire widget under the items tab right here. These are all of the elements that are making up this widget right there. So go right here, stacked group 939. As you can see, that's well, it's not exactly the time. The time is 941, but this one's kind of catching up here. So we're going to tap on this. This is what makes up this time portion of the widget as you can see this part is the only one that's highlighted so whenever we tap on this area in this box kind of like a hitbox from a game you go to touch right here nothing is added just yet press this plus button right here and now we can add a touch function so for a single tap we go here press on none action go to none and you can do pretty much whatever you want. You can open a link if you want. Uh, you can have music controls. You can launch an activity, a shortcut. For this one, we're going to just launch an application. And right here, you can see app. Tap on this empty space right there. And then we're going to select the clock. Boom, right there. So whenever you make a new change to your widget, make sure you always hit the save button right there. It'll save uh, your changes. 
And we're gonna go ahead and go back to the home screen. And if I tap on pretty much anywhere, it will open up the clock. So as you can see, wherever that little hitbox was, it'll open up the clock. So we can do pretty much the same thing for the calendar portion of the widget. So again, we have items here, got all of our different elements here. But the difference here is that the elements that make up this portion right here were not placed in a stack group, what you call a stack group, like the time one was. So for this one, you're gonna have some separation. For example, we have the text for Friday, we have 18 right here. Th these are separate instead of under a stack group, which is why all of them are under this box right here. If this is making any sense, great. If not, I apologize. Um, but as you can see, those elements are separated. They're not under a stack group. So uh, that's gonna be a little tricky. So tap on Friday, go to touch, do the same thing, hit that plus button, single action, launch application, tap there, and then we'll go to calendar, boom. And then when we tap on it, it should open up our calendar. Of course, hit that save button and you should be good to go. So now when we tap on Friday, boom, it opens up the calendar. And of course you can set this to whatever you like, but that's what I have for my setup. Something that I almost forgot to mention, another thing that I almost forgot to mention was some more of the positioning adjustments for the actual widget. So go ahead and go back into here go to position and then we're going to change the x and the y offset i think the x was 20 so go here 20 and then the y was negative 7. do negative 7 and in fact i'm just going to go ahead and mess around with this just a little bit more so that it can reach the bottom of the widget hit that save Boom. All right, so there you go. There's that widget. It looks really nice, especially on larger displays. But let's go ahead and get into the next widget, which goes right here. Go ahead and add a new widget. Go to KWGT, where are you at? And then uh, let's just do this one for now. So let's see. Do something like this. Make it really small. Drag it down to the dock, because you can put widgets in the dock, which is awesome. Extend it out to that size right there. Go ahead and click on that, go to flow, and then scroll down to 17. So let's find 17, there it is right there. And here we go, for the layer and for the positioning, let's get to that real quick. So for the layer, let's tap on layer, and I have it at 104, of course this is subject to change, but for now we're gonna go with 104, that's the scale size. Go back to items, tap on that right there, go to position, and it's actually at zero and zero. So this one right here, we're gonna change this to zero. Boom, boom. So let's go back here. Of course, like I explained before, these are all of the elements that make up the widget. So you can see right here, 957, that is for the time right there. So go ahead and tap on that. Tap on text right there. These are all of the different formulas for uh, different things like for time, weather, uh, music, you know, now playing media, battery percentages and stuff like that. This is all preset stuff, which is pretty cool so that you don't have to enter in these codes by yourself. So if you wanted a different, you know, I don't know if you wanted something like battery percentage. In fact, I'll go ahead and erase that. I say go ahead a lot. You guys should know that. Um, if I wanted battery info, I can tap on that and get whatever type of battery info that I want. So if I wanted this, for example, boom, it'll put in that formula right there, it'll pop up and that's what it's gonna look like, 90%, that's the battery. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to put in my own text. You can put in whatever you want. You can do uh, easy T if you wanted to, you could put your name. So there you go, hit the check mark at the upper right hand corner and you should be good to go. And of course you can reposition it uh, with the position tab here. You can go back to text and you can resize it if you'd like. You can change the font, you can change everything about it pretty much. Now on the actual setup itself, I have the weather right here. I have it set to open up the weather application. So if you wanted to do that, you do the same thing as we did before. Go back here, you have all your different elements and then we have the text for few clouds. So let's go ahead and do this one here. Let's do touch, same thing as before. Launch app. Boom, right there. All right, so I'm either totally blind or I don't have a standalone weather app that I can use for this right now. Okay, that's really weird. But uh, for the for the sake of this video, let's just add, uh, a, I don't know, let's just do settings for now, okay? Let's just go with settings, hit that save button, <laughs> go home, tap that, and boom, it'll open up the application that you've selected. So that's, that's the look right there. So next, let's do month calendar widget. Let's add a widget, okay, M, okay, right there, month. You can resize it. I have it set to eh, something like this. Of course, you can make it whatever you'd like. Let's go into the actual application itself. Let me find it, boom. There's the application right there. 
you have themes. The one that I'm using is, actually it's not one of these, what am I doing? This one right here. And there you go. Looks pretty good, huh? Of course you can, again, resize it. I think now it's like that. I think, I don't remember anymore, but <laughs> there you go. There's that. All right, so for this, long press on the home screen, go to wallpaper, go to live wallpapers right there, rain paper. And then of course you can, oh, I forgot about this wallpaper. Oh, now I got to link it in the description now, don't I? <laughs> I actually forgot where I got it. So I'm going to have to hunt around for it and you guys uh, will see it in the description. Anyway, hit the settings icon right there. Go to background, my images, locate the background that you want to use. I'm going to use this one right here. Of course you can resize it. I'm going to do, uh, I'll do something like that. Hit done. It done. Then you can customize how the raindrops appear and things like that. So you can adjust the fogginess, which is basically just the blur. And you adjust the wind speed, the rain chance, rate, rain intensity, all that good stuff. This is how I have it on mine. So you, you can copy that if you'd like. Gonna go back, activate. You get a little preview, which is really nice. Set wallpaper, home screen. Boom. There you go. There was one thing that I did forget, and that's good luck. <laughs> good luck is what allows me to get this look. Um, like this, like this kind of stuff uh, on my Galaxy device. Now, I understand that this is not available in every country. A lot of people have uh, expressed that they are not able to get their hands on this because it's not available in their country. So if you're not able to get this, this is the Galaxy Store, by the way. If you're not seeing good luck on the Galaxy Store, head over to the Play Store. Ah, it's right here. <laughs> head over to the Play Store and try Nice Lock. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, it's, it's a launcher for good luck. So there you go. All the stuff that you get in good luck, you can get right here, which is pretty cool. So for example, Navstar, which lets you uh, customize the navigation bar, you've got access to that now. So if you don't have access to good luck, try out nice lock. And that's the setup. That is the exact setup. Well, minus like some of the icon placement, but I'll leave that up to you guys. But that is the setup from widget to widget to widget, <laughs> from icon pack to wallpaper to everything that I could possibly get for this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. I mean, I know you guys enjoyed the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was able to help you guys out. Thank you guys for the continued support. I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you liked the video, feel free to leave it a like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. A large percentage of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell to get notified of when I post a new video. I've got plenty of videos coming out very soon. Also, if you made it to this point in the video, first of all, comment potato. You already, you already know, you already know, comments potato. Um, <laughs> also, if you made it to this part of the video, you are awesome, number one. And number two, this is probably a good moment to mention that I am moving all of my customization videos to a completely different channel. I'm making another channel. I'm calling it the Android Taylor. I'm gonna be moving all of the customization stuff to that channel, including best Android setup. So videos like this, um, this is probably gonna be one of the last few, if not the last customization video that I do on this uh, channel. So uh, make sure you keep an eye out for that. Follow me on Twitter for more updates on that. I'm just working on some art and some other logistics stuff. So uh, keep an eye out for that channel. It's going to be all things Android customization because um, customization was kind of taking over this channel, which I didn't want it to do in the first place. So I'm going to make a new channel. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and your continued support. I've rambled on for entirely way too long now. I will talk to you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching.